this is part two of uh, printing check with macro in this part we are going to we are going to use the vlookup function to get names and salary of the person's names in the using the vlookup function we shall use the person's employee number as a vlookup value as a lookup value and then we'll get the value from column 2 and column 3 of this table so as a first step to use vlookup we shall give this specific data a name so i'm selecting this whole data range and in the name box here i'll type employees actually you can give a, any name to this specific data but i'm going with the employees to confirm that we have assigned the name properly i'll go into the name box and see that the employee name is there and once i click it it will select the table which we had selected previously so it confirms that we have assigned the name correctly now let's go back to the ubl sheet and outside the print area uh, we shall select one cell that will control the employee details so actually i'm using cell a14 for this purpose a13 in a13 i'll give the cell some name so let's say this is employee number and in the next cell uh, instead of using a14 let's use b13 so let's say employee number one now this one will control the information on this check so for miss Sherin, instead of typing the names manually let's use vlookup function equal to vlookup we are looking for employee number comma in the table employees and the person's name is given in column 2 of that table and we want the m the match to be exact so i'm typing 0 and that's it so the first person on the employees table is Noor Rahman and we can confirm here we can confirm here that it is Noor Rahman now let's get the employee salary in a similar way equal to we look up we are looking for what looking for the employee number comma looking this value in table employees comma and this time we uh, we shall obtain the value from column 3 because salary is given in column 3 and the match should be exact so his salary is 200 805 rupees 0.3 cents and since this specific spell number is linked to this cell we don't have to do anything rather we shall type at the rate of spell numbers and it will convert the value of this value to words itself now the setup is complete what we need to do is to change uh, only the employee number from here so if i type 2 it will bring in 
the second employee is Hakali and his salary. And similarly, if I type three, it will bring in the third employee, that is Akhtar Sayyid Khan, and his salary. In our next step, what we shall do is to change this specific number using a macro. So we shall see that in our next video. But at the time, uh, I would like you that you set up these values and get the VLOOKUP function right and complete the setup. So I'm giving you five minutes for that. Thank you.